four, three, two, one. Back here, Tulane University, UConn, a six nothing winner over the Green Wave as Carson Cross picks up his fifth win of the season. Seven innings of work for Carson, four hits, no runs, two walks, seven strikeouts. As we're joined by head coach Jim Penders, coach, uh, what did you see from Carson tonight? Not as many strikeouts early, but they're putting it in the play right at your fielders. Yeah, they were. They were swinging early in the count. Um, they must have had, you know, a report that he's a strike thrower, which he is. And uh, they were very aggressive early in the count, and uh, I think that played into our hands because Carson, you know, wasn't going to go long. His legs looked a little tired tonight, and uh, he battled great. I mean, <laughs> how can you, you know, you look at it and he doesn't give up a run, he doesn't give up a hit till the fifth, and but he was battling pretty much the whole night, and it was good that they were swinging early in the count, getting us early outs, because I don't know how much more he could have uh, hit, he could have gone tonight. And with your ace on the hill, you always want to try and get an early lead. You're able to do so two in the first, one in the second. Uh, what were you guys able to do well in those first couple innings? Well, Jack gets on. You know, Jack gets on, opposite field single. Um, you know, what we preach, and, and he did a really good job there. And then we said we were going to, hey, you know, they're very good throwing runners out, so we're going to, Everybody in the lineup, you heard it on the bus, everybody in the lineup is going to be expected to bunt tonight. We even had Bobby Mellies uh, in, a, in a sack situation tonight. Um, he didn't wind up doing it, but I had him try it once. Um, and Vinny, Vinny does a great job bunting for a base hit. Perfect bunt uh, when 